What's up everybody, welcome to my pixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. A lot of games need to randomize something. Maybe your game needs random spawn points, or maybe you have mystery item boxes. Whatever your specific application is, you're going to need a random number generator. First thing we're going to do is assign a new random number generator object to a variable. Now we can use one of the methods of the random number generator object to generate a random integer. We'll print the result to the output window. Now let's go ahead and see what that gives us. We can see that the result here is a pretty large number. It's 316102 Let's go ahead and run the game again and see what we get next. And it looks like we got the same result as last time. 316102 Not very random, right? So why is this happening? It's because the seed, which is the value used to derive the random number, is not changing. If we want a different result, we have to change the seed also. We can do this with the randomize method, which I believe changes the seed based on some time value. Let's see what we get now. Now we get something different. We can run the game a few more times just to see that it's still giving us different values. And we get something different again. Okay, we got something different. And again, we're getting a different random number. Now that we figured that out, let's take a little bit more control over random numbers because maybe a random number in the billions is not quite what we're looking for. We can use the randi underscore range method to give us an integer within a specified range. Here we're just asking for an integer between 1 and 200. We run our game. And we see that we're given an integer within our range. Once again, we can run the game a few more times just to see that we're getting different results. Now that we've seen that we get different results like we should be, here's a quick example of an implementation using our random number generator. To this, I'm going to go ahead and set the random integer value to the enemy's speed variable. Now let's see what happens. A different random number in our range is applied to each of the skeletons separately so they move at different speeds. If we restart the game, we should see different results and see our skeletons moving at different speeds. So as you just saw, the random number generator is really easy to use and I'm sure that you already have a few ideas of what you can use it for. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's coming up next. The sprite, source code, and everything else that I've used in this tutorial today is available for download on my Patreon page. So by chance, if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link will be in the description. Thanks to everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.